Hey guys, James here today and welcome to my review of The Sims 4 My First Pet Sucks? What? Yeah, uh, thanks to uh, EA for providing the code through the Game Changers program. However, the little link here that says, you know, download the watermark and use it, you click on it. And then it just says transfer deleted. So look, that's not on me, that's on you guys. If you want me to use a watermark, please have the file available for download. This is just a precursor to this review. Now, just because I don't want to mislead anyone, you know, the Sims 4 My First Pet stuff, I, I've, I've obviously put that in there. I have also removed a couple of elements here from this, uh, this render because I didn't want people to think that you get you know, the mystery items that are hidden behind here. It's not clear what they could be, because I've removed them, just so they're completely censored and you don't get your hopes up at all. You can, you feel free to guess what they could be, uh, but those kind of things you're going to require another pack for, so we're not going to be looking too closely at them. Okay, so here we are in the game, and this is some of the items that- Oh, hang on, no, that's what comes with cats and dogs. Hold up. Here we go, this is what you get with my first pet stuff pack. There are some genuinely good things about this pack, and I want to get them out of the way first, and then we can get down to the nitty gritty and uh, really discuss, I think, what the big problem with this pack is. So these are all the brand new items that do not, you know, require other packs or anything like that. Obviously the most notable is the new pets. Uh, so we have the, what is this, the, the Bubba Loose, uh, we have the... Uh, thimble. Oh yeah, it's like the sort of pygmy, um, pygmy hedgehog right there. There he is. Beautiful. And um, we have the the hamster. Is that hamster? That's what it is, right? Yeah, hamster. And then we have a rat here as well. Now, these are all. These are actually four separate objects. Which, uh, first of all, is already kind of weird. Uh, you go in here. You have literally four different objects for them, and they are different prices. So I get. I guess them being different objects makes sense. So you know that's fine. One thing that I would, if you know, if you're gonna do four separate objects, I would at least prefer them to look a little bit different on the cages. It does. I mean, I wouldn't have to be drastically different because I can imagine if you change these tubes, you know, that have to do custom animations for all of them. But like, even at the very least, maybe just you could expand the size of this platform, make it a bit smaller, make the wheel look different. Like, there's some little things that you could do. Even the things down the bottom. Like some of those things probably could have changed in each of the items. Would have been a nice little detail to add if you're going to have four separate items that essentially look identical. There's no easy way to tell them apart in the catalog either. So, you know, having some sort of variation would have been cool there. Uh, but having said that, these items are actually pretty nice. And I, I do think these are pretty cool. And I think people are going to get a lot of fun out of them. Uh, so obviously the, mo the main stuff is here in live mode. So if we go over here, we can, there's a bunch of options. We can talk, we can feed them, observe, play with, release. Release just lets them out that you don't get to actually see them. They always stay attached to the cage, much like a baby does to the uh, cot. So let's, you know, let's go interact a little bit. One of the, I think one of the really cool things that does come with this is actually the new death. Uh, so if you have, because you can actually have relationships with these guys. So at the moment his name is Hammy. Oh, it's already negative. Didn't like, did not like that. If we jump over here, we should now, okay, ignore all the ghosts that I'm friends with. We now actually have, which is pretty cool that we actually have a proper relationship uh, segment for Hammy. And obviously all the other pets as we get to know them. And if we do end up having a fairly negative relationship, which I don't know that I can, uh, oh, I guess if I yell at maybe. Uh, it's kind of mean, but we'll, we'll yell at him. Uh, so if that starts going down and then you try to pet them, they can end up biting you, and that bite can actually lead to getting a disease uh, called the, the what is a rabid rodent fever, I believe it is. Uh, so if we had a, a, a relationship that was truly bad, we could uh, we could experience that. Okay, so Hammy is not my best friend right now. Oh, okay, that seems kind of dodgy that all four of these people thought about the wheel at the exact same time. Anyway, so now if I go try to let's try if we can. Can I uh, play? Let's see if I can play with it. We might get bitten. Let's see, because it, it hates me. It really, really does. So are you gonna are you gonna bite? Really? Wait. I guess. Hang on. Hold up. This could be it. Oh yeah, there you go. You got bit on the nose. Okay. So that's not great. Uh, so I. She's not. She's not feeling too good about that. Then you have the chance to get the rabbit rodent fever, which. Uh, I don't know if we'll experience here, but basically what happens is your sim will get sick. You get a little notification. Uh, if you don't treat yourself within, I think, well, you get a couple of moodlets. I don't know that, uh, we might see you within a two hours, but you get a couple of moodlets. So I think it's like the first day you're, you're kind of feeling a bit sick. Second day you become contagious and basically you can infect your other Sims on your lot. They can also get sick with it. We have no one else here. You can actually infect other people in the neighborhood. You become contagious, which I think is super cool. And then if you don't treat it at all, you actually end up dying from it, uh, which is, and there's a new death animation for it as well, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, but other NPCs will not die from it. So if we infect 
the town. They won't die for a And they also can't spread it. So the whole town doesn't get infected and die. Though a mod for that would be pretty cool. Um, but you can very easily treat it through the computer. You can uh, get the cure for it, which is pretty cool. Anyway, so that's that. And then these guys, obviously, apart from that, uh, the cages will get dirty. You clean them, that kind of stuff. It's pretty simple. Hover over it up the top. You can see the hunger is okay. Attention's okay. Oh, content. And activity is content. Uh, and then sometimes at night, you might see them having a little rave in this room here, which is kind of weird. Sometimes they'll build a rocket ship and fly off out through this little gap up the top, which you guys might have seen. That stuff's kind of cool, but it's also really silly. There is a way you can prevent that. If you get a computer, then go to order and purchase rodent treats. This is where you can get a couple of things here. So you can get the anti-aging rodent treat, which will basically disable, you know, they, they won't die from old age. Because uh, otherwise they will, by default, die, I think, within a, two weeks in the game. 14 days, I think. Some I can't remember the exact number. Somewhere around there, but you can prevent that so they never die. Or you can get, if you get the IQ limiter... That will stop them. That would basically just make them a normal pet and they won't do, you know, flying off in a rocket or they, they do a few other things as well. Um, but you get new collectibles from it too. They, they come back with some postcards that you can put on the front there, uh, which I think if we go in here, we can actually see the new collection. So there are actually some, oh no, it's not a new collection. It's just part of the postcard collection, but there's some new postcards down here. So there's another set of seven that you can get, which is cool. I So I, I personally think that the, um, the actual rodents are pretty sweet. Like it's a nice little addition. Would have been great to have it in Cats and Dogs, but I think this is actually pretty cool. So that's that. That's kind of all the gameplay that comes associated with that. The new death and the, the, all, the, all that sort of stuff. Uh, then this stuff over here, we got a few cool new items. So the flooring and the wallpaper are not new, neither are the windows. But we do have new uh, window blinds all the way around here. So we've got a, a two, uh, two square var variant, a one tile and a three tile one. And those come in a bunch of colors too. So I just want to quickly show all this stuff and then we'll sort of get into the... Oh, I'm excited. Are you guys excited to see like the sort of roasting aspect? Because I am. Right, this rug. So there are some, like I said, there are some actual nice things in here. That's why I want to go over it first. This rug has a bunch of different options. It also comes in some more, I guess, silly kind of patterns and stuff for like maybe kids rooms or just a pet room something fun like that then some very standard ones as well just carpet which is very very useful uh but i probably won't be oh that green goes nice with that i probably won't be using them though because i really don't want to use stuff from this pack at all because i don't want to encourage people to get it then this oh this you know this really annoyed me so okay it's a cool item objectively it's a cool item it's a circular aquarium coffee table that's cool let's not deny that that's cool the problem for me comes in with, it's literally the only circular coffee table that we have. Uh, like every other single coffee table in this game, one tile or two is all rectangular, except for this one. Oh God, why? Why is this the only one? They could have at the very least also created a version that was just glass and that didn't have an aquarium in it. Cause this is so specific use case. You can't use this everywhere. At all. Um, it's very cool though, very cool. Uh, but we did get a nice uh, side table uh, that is also a nice circular one too, which is great because we don't have many of those either. We basically have that one and this one. I think that the moral of the story is we really need more circular tables in general, not just in coffee and side tables, but also dining tables. Like we have some of them, but most of them are not that great. Like there's not really any modern ones in here for some reason. So let's get some more of those. Um, yeah, so that's kind of annoying that that's the only one. Also, the other thing is, it's not actually an aquarium. You can't add fish in it, which kind of sucks. If there's an actual aquarium that we can add our fish in, that'd be great. Sucks that we can't, so that's kind of lame too. Not the happy... I mean, it's a cool item. It's objectively a cool item, but it's kind of lame too at the same time. Then we get these new sofas, which uh, I think are going to be a little hard to use. I mean, they're very... Like, the, the shape in that is very basic, which is good. But they're very, most of these are pretty specific in styling. Uh, and the colors are kind of all over the place as well. Uh, it has some cool patterns. Like, if this is your thing, great. Uh, it has some cool patterns with it. And you could definitely do some interesting things as well. If we use a little bit of move objects, we can sort of, if we sort of put them together, you can even create almost sectional sofas like that. This, that, that's very cool that you can do that. And I love it. But it's, um, I mean, the downside is it is very colorful. Like, even the, even the basic colors, like the black and white, has like, stylized pet stuff on it which okay granted the name of the pet uh, the pack is my first pet stuff so that makes sense but really the only plain one is this one and it's beige the rest are like kind of full-on that one's okay as well but anyway just just so you're aware and then obviously this has the same colors new bay window i mean they're pretty not like they're definitely nice stuff as well so i think they're cool we also get this new chair which is basically just isn't that just a similar chair to one of the other ones that we have Maybe. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, no, not really. It's similar to this one, but not quite. Um, and it comes with a bunch of recolors as well. 
different little faces eating a strawberry, you know, if you want to sit on that. Um, and then we get, a, oh, okay, then, then we start moving into some weird stuff here. Uh, bookcase is cool though. Let's get, let's go through the cool stuff first. Let's do all the nice, happy stuff first. Uh, nice, nice little colors there. Obviously very, you know, very child friendly, uh, very, very much so designed for children. Uh, we got this new, uh, wall decoration here as well. A few colors on that. Uh, we've got the new height chart, which has a lot of nice little drawings on it. I love some of these. They're really cool. Though I never really use these in my game anyway. I think they're kind of pointless. Got a new mirror, which is some cat floating in clouds for some reason. And a light here that's a cat thing. I don't know. When am I ever going to use those? I don't know. Probably never. Um, all right, let's get rid of that computer because that was not with it. Now, oh, we also have this new toy for kids. Uh, cool. They can play with that. So this, alrighty, we are now, oh, actually, no, hold up, these things, uh, these things are kind of weird, uh, these are not actual, a lot of people seem to think that these are designed so you can actually put them together and have hamsters run through them, which would be cool, and would be amazing, but no, that's not the case, it's literally just wall decals that have a bunch of different variations that no one will ever use, can, can I please, can we please say this now, no one's ever going to use this ever, for anything, I mean, the only use case you'd ever have for this is maybe a vet clinic. Because who the hell is going to be putting this in their house as wall decorations? Anyway, it's cool though. It's cool that there's so many different variations of them. And it's basically like putting puzzle pieces together. Pretty cool. But useless. Ultimately useless. So <laughs> take that with however you want. Uh, then we also get a new kids activity table. Which is, I mean, literally the same as the other activity tables that we already have. They all do the same thing. There's really no, what's the point of having three of these? I, I don't know. Like we could have got something else. But anyway, got a new kids activity table. Obviously this pack is very much uh, centralized around children. So, there you go. I mean, all right, so now, oh, now, now we can get exciting. Okay, so this, so, okay, my first pet stuff. Okay, this is basically the stuff you get if you don't own cats and dogs, uh, including this thing right here. Uh, this is the stuff you get if you don't include uh, cats and dogs. And then we have some more stuff over there, which we'll get to in a minute. But the other big problem with this pack is that a lot of the items, not so much those ones, but uh, a lot of the items, this included, are uh, essentially what people have described as being withheld from the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. For example, check out this bedside table that came with Cats and Dogs. Oh, look, it's exactly the same style. And hey, let's have a look at the uh, the bed that goes with that. Oh, look, it's the exact same style. Oh, and look, the, the dresses, the exact same style. So you can see it's clearly designed to go with this set, which is not a problem. Like I have no issue with them adding matching items in later on down the line. And I mentioned this in my uh, my quick uh, thoughts and opinions on the the, tr the reveal trailer for this. Um, I think the issue with this pack comes mainly from the fact that it was released so soon after Cats and Dogs. It seems like they just withheld the items, you know. Uh, and, and so what I what I mean about matching items coming later on, uh, if we have a look, let's so Jungle Adventure actually introduced a really nice uh, matching item. If we go to this guy here, it has four different colors, only little tiles down the bottom. But if we put it on the wall, this uh, wallpaper, those tiles are actually designed to match. Oh, actually, and so, uh, so are these ones. So these tiles that came with Jungle Adventure, which I originally, I didn't even notice at first. I was like, why, why do we have these? It's such a random thing to add in with Jungle Adventure, just random tiles. But they added it in to match some existing base game tiles that never had matching walls, which is cool. And I think that's great. I have no problem with them adding in stuff that matches existing stuff in the game. But because this is only, you know, a few months after Cats and Dogs, it clearly seems like they're like, hey, we got these other items, but let's just, okay, so this is like, maybe they're like, they designed this set at first, like, hey, maybe even this, because this clearly goes with it too, all the colors match. Um, and even this, really, pretty much all this stuff. They're like, hey, oh cool, look at this whole bedroom set we got. To us as a consumer, whether it's true or not, I don't know what the actual story is here, whether it's true or not, from a consumer facing perspective, to us, it looks like they're like, here's the whole set. Hang on, let's just move these guys over here and put them in a pack later on down the line so we can sell this. And then if people want to, you know, have a full bedroom set, we can make them buy this pack instead. So then they can sort of put it all together. That's how it feels. And that's the big problem. Now, if this had come out, I don't know, like a year later and they're like, okay, let's add some more stuff into this set. It's very different because obviously they, I don't, I doubt they would sit on some items for a year just to release them later on down the line. That makes no sense, I don't think. But when it's a couple months afterwards, and it's clearly a matching set in a pack that seems almost certainly like a cash grab. Ah, I'm not happy with that. So anyway, there you go. So this matches with those sets that came with Cats and Dogs. Uh, clearly looks like, it looks like it was withheld. Whether it is or not, that is, we don't know. We, you know, we don't know. They haven't said, uh, obviously I don't think they would ever say, hey, we purposely withheld this. But 
Anyway, so there's that. Take it, you know, decide what you want with that. Um, then, the, then what I did at the beginning. Yeah, so this is the stuff we got in Cats and Dogs. Cats and Dogs expansion pack. Uh, actually, I think if I press, yeah, if I go five and then I go here. Look, okay. My first pet stuff. Hang on. Cats and Dogs. My first pet stuff, Cats and Dogs. Can, oh, you can't even tell it's changing, can you? It looks exactly the same. Okay, then I also put them over here to really compare them. So... These items, obviously, you do get them if you don't have cats and dogs. However, they're 100% useless. You can't do anything with them. They're not going to do anything because you don't own cats and dogs. It is decorative. If you do own cats and dogs, you can obviously use them. However, even if you own it, what the hell is the point? They're literally the same item. It's like, cool, we got a new cat tree. It doesn't even look different. It doesn't even have different, you know, positions that they can go to. Literally the same thing. If you overlay them, you can't even tell it's there. It's the same item. Like, it's literally the same item. Just a reskin, essentially. And it's the same with every other item here. It's like, oh, cool, we got a new one. Oh, it's basically the same. Oh, cool, we got a new... Oh, it's this, uh, oh new toy, but... Oh, it's the same. Um, <laughs> like, it's just... What are you doing? Even, like, they, they... Okay, so a lot of people had complaints about the pet beds when they came out. And cats and dogs. Because they're really flat and they're basically just a little blanket. Now... Uh, when we had dogs, our dogs loved sleeping on blankets. But we also had, you know, proper big pillowy uh, pet beds, you know, a big cushion. We also had those. I mean, our pets preferred blankets. But the thing is, we, in real life, we had choice. Uh, and they had the perfect opportunity to respond to that criticism with this pack. They could have added in big pillowy pet beds and all that kind of stuff. But no, 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 they, they just did literally the same item. Again, if you overlay them, you can see it's pretty much the same dimensions. It just has different patterns on it. And while some of the patterns are beautiful, I'm not, I'm not saying that the, the looks of the items are bad. I'm saying the functionality of the items are, are, are essentially pointless. You know, it's essentially the same item. There's no difference with it. It just has some different colors that may look good. I mean, this, this pet bed does look really nice. But the thing is, we didn't need it. We needed a different type of pet bed, you know? And the same thing with this. It, it's cool, but like, I mean, it's pointless. And then we got a new pet bowl that's like a tree stump. Cool. All right. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's that stuff. Now, oh, it doesn't, it does not stop there. If you thought that was bad. Let's, uh, where are you? Let's jump into Creator Sim real quick because I don't normally do Creator Sim reviews. I don't normally show this stuff, but this I need to because it's not cool. Uh, it's really not. Now, this is not the first pack that's, you know, taken items, reskin them. You know, like, it's really not. Like, this happens all the time. They'll create a new version of an item. That's fine. But the problem arises uh, with... Let's just go back to every day. Hang on. The problem arises when they do it with every single item in the pack. So we got some new shirts. Let's have a look. Let me show you the new stuff. Uh, there's, there's a, there's, I'm only going to show you a couple of them. If we get, what am I doing? So this shirt here, for example, nice space game shirt. Nothing, nothing crazy about that. Uh, that's cool. Uh, so we got this shirt. Let's have a look at this one. Remember that one with the little plum bobs on it. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Nice little shirt, those little uh, little sleeves there. And then we've also got this one for base game. Just a nice little pocket tee, nothing too crazy, just a few basic colors on it. Remember those two designs. Now, let's jump over to the new pack, My First Pet Stuff. Oh, ho wait, hang on. Isn't this the pocket square t-shirt that we just saw? It just has some new colors. Oh, um, what is that doing there? I specifically filtered my first pet stuff and came up with get to work. I don't know why that's there. And uh, here's that t-shirt that I was talking about. It, it wasn't on, uh, it wasn't on my lady. Also, I couldn't even find it when I got rid of the, the tags. Anyway, so here's the one from my first pet stuff with a few different patterns to it right there. And here's the one from base game. It's literally the exact same mesh, just recolored. And there's a few more examples like this. There's a hoodie for, uh, not hoodie, there's a onesie for the children. There's a t-shirt for toddlers, and I think a t-shirt for children as well, that are essentially the same shirts, just recolored. Now, again, that's not crazy. This does happen. But I think just on top of everything else, they're really not helping their case, basically. It's like, if it was just the t-shirts and then everything else is new, everything else is, you know, like it's different. But when you pile this on top of the, the issues that we already have with all the cats and dogs stuff, with all, you know, all the stuff that appears like it was withheld, it doesn't help. So that's pretty much what you get in this pack. <laughs> This is what you get if you don't have cats and dogs. You also get these things, but you can't use them, so don't even worry about that. You basically get this and a couple of t-shirts that have been recolored. And to show you just how simple recoloring stuff is, because, man, I don't... Th like, this pack would seems like 100%, uh, no doubt, that this was, like, a rushed-out pack. Like, it, it just seems like 
maybe they had a few items left over from something, and they're like, let's just put this in a pack, let's recolor a few t-shirts, let's get it out the door. Done. They seems like they did it as quick as possible, it wasn't in the quarterly teaser, it wasn't anywhere announced, it just appeared one day. I wanna, I, I do wanna have a look at how, like, I just really wanna show you guys how easily we can do recolors. Now, I really don't want any of you guys directing any negative comments towards uh, Sim Gurus uh, personally, because it's not personally their fault, you know, they're an employee at a company and the company is telling them what to do. Instead, when you, you know, express your feedback and criticism to people that work on the game, let them know constructively why you don't like it. Like, we don't like this pack because of X, not I hate you. Etc. You know, basically, it's not personal. Don't. This is nothing personal. I just want to make that very clear. And I do want to stress that a lot of the people that work in this game are fantastic artists and and uh, developers and all that. I've met a lot of them. They're great people, and I just want them to never do this again. Create a create a sim. So we're going to create a, our own T-shirt. Uh, I just want to really show you how quickly you can do this and why it's not cool to have a pack that basically just has recolors in it because it's not hard. So we're going to go human. We're going to go gender. We'll go female. Uh, we're going to go for uh, no, well, game, yeah, we'll go to base game, content, oh yeah, she will, so I think it was T-Tucked, yeah, here we go, so we can get the pocket t-shirt here, we'll get the white one, here we go, like, I just want to show you, I, I was preparing early, so I'm just going to replace that one, and go next, uh, so this is going to create a new t-shirt that we can add into our game, all we have to do is edit an image file, so we got this here, here's our image, we're going to export that, then we're going to jump over to Photoshop and open up our image that we just exported right here. And here we go. So this is our t-shirt. You can see there's a little pocket. We've got the t-shirt. We've got all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to use an image that I have uh, that is one of my Twitch emotes, which is this. We're going to put this on the pocket of the t-shirt and create our own yes t-shirt because I think it's going to be great. So I prepared a little, uh, little bit of an edit earlier just so we can do this a little bit quicker for the video. So I'm just going to sort of position this where it needs to be. Some of these colors are a little off, so I'm just going to adjust those as well. All right, so now we got the Yas sitting on the pocket. Yas right there. Might even um, might even just make this a little bit smaller so it sort of sits on the uh, that little line of the pocket. Give it a little bit of a warp just to make it sort of match the curve of it as well. So we get a nice sort of fitted little Yas in there. So you can see it sort of flows with the pocket, sits in that little spot. And there you go, Yas. Now all we got to do, we save this image, jump back over here to Sims 4 Studio. We click on the import button. We get the Yas. Boom. Yes, queen! There it is, beautiful. Now, what we gotta do is, well that's pretty much it. We can change the swatches and that if we want to. We can add recolors of this if we want. Uh, but we're not gonna do that right now. That's not too hard to do. So we're just gonna go ahead and go save. Then we just take our cool t-shirt.package, chuck it in our game right there, and that will be ready to go. Now I just want to create one more t-shirt that is going to be based off of the other one that we saw that was clearly just a recolor. So it's gonna be a new t-shirt. Not really great names. And then we're just going to go ahead and export that. Oh, no, not import. We're going to export that. I open this up in Photoshop. Here's our t-shirt. Now, I guess we just got to get rid of these plum bobs because, I mean, they're adorable, but, you know, we don't we don't need them. So I'm just going to go around them like this. Get the patch tool. And then we're going to drag a sample from over the other side. And then that just clears off the front of the t-shirt so we can put whatever we want there. Now, I took this photo earlier today, and I did actually post this on Instagram saying, I'm going to use this as inspiration for something. And this is exactly what we're going to use it for, because how cool is that picture, by the way? I love it. Uh, so I've actually prepared. Here's what I prepared earlier. So we're going to grab our cutout image uh, from that. going to close that. Obviously, we need to scale it down a little bit. It's a little big. Ba -ba -ba. And we're going to put it on this T-shirt, and it's going to look sweet. I think we might need to do a little bit of blending just to make it look okay. We'll roughly get in the middle. Depends how big we want it. We can have it as big or as small as we want. We could put it on the back of the T-shirt. We could do anything here. Okay, so I've just done a little bit of blending. It's sort of a little bit of a faded T-shirt pattern, but I think it looks kind of cool. So then we're just going to go ahead and save that. Jump back over to Sims 4 Studio. Going to click the import button, get our T-shirt, put it in game. There it is. Look at that. Beautiful. New T-shirt. Boom. Look at that recolor. That's a cool image, actually. Right, so we're going to go ahead and save that. Package has been saved and then we do new t-shirt we put that in our mods folder now let's load up the game and check it out oh, look at that there's my t-shirt in the game there's oh, well there's the first one anyway look at that it's beautiful like here's the thing like that's what i mean like doing a recolor of a t-shirt or something is not that hard obviously the artwork that goes into it is a lot more time consuming than just pasting an image on and i'm not t again i don't want to take away from the people that actually worked on the art for the t-shirts but the fact is just doing a recolor is less work than creating a new mesh. Obviously a new mesh and a new t-shirt would take more time. 
which is fine that these things take more time but i think we're at the end of the day we're paying money for these packs we're paying money for something that realistically any of us could do pretty easily and there we have it yes we have how cool is that t-shirt now if you do want to download my two crappy t-shirts i will put a link down below so you can check them out i'll also link uh, my desktop wallpaper in case you want that Right, so in conclusion, my first pet stuff pack. Stuff? I don't know, whatever this hell the thing was called. Is it worth it? Is it worth paying $10 for this pack? I don't think so at all. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it makes sense. I think it's blatant just, you know, additional grab for money for people that bought cats and dogs. Or the people that haven't bought cats and dogs might want to buy the hamsters and they're like, well, I might as well get cats and dogs so I can use this stuff. But thanks to EA for giving me the go to review this. Uh, I just don't ever want this to happen again. In an ideal world, the way this should have been done, um, it, I, I think DLCs for DLCs are not an inherently bad thing. I think the bad thing is that this is half a DLC for a DLC and half not. And you can't win either way. You either have to buy both packs or you buy... You don't buy this at all, right? That's kind of the idea. It's like, basically, if you buy this, you don't have cats and dogs, it's not worth it. You buy it, and you do have cats and dogs. Also, it's kind of not worth it, because it's kind of the same items. But my point is, if you're going to do a DLC for a DLC, go 100% in. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think it'd be a bad thing if they did it, like, a month after cats and dogs. If it was, like, a full add-on pack for it, you know? Not so great. If they did a DLC for City Living, and they added new neighborhoods and new festivals and all that kind of stuff that required all that, you know... I think there's ways around it, and there's ways to approach it. I do not think that this was the way. I do not think this was worth the money. I think this was a pretty poor pack that seems like it was rushed out, and I'm not happy with it. Uh, but I would rather never see something like this again, uh, essentially. I would rather it either be better <laughs> or just not exist. Uh, all right, that's it. That's enough. That's enough for this. I think I've said everything I need to, but thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.